Hey guys, how you doing? DJ AJ 101 here, and I'm back with more with the MacBook Air, the newest, latest, greatest thing from Apple, at least as far as their Mac line is concerned. Uh, it is the newest Mac that they've updated on the line, and like I said before, this one is really no different. It's the highest end 11 inch you can get, but just one little small caveat is that I updated it to the highest end processor that I can get, which is the 1.8 GHz dual core Sandy Bridge Intel CPU. And other than that, it's all the same. It still has the same, um, you know, flash memory, 128 gigabytes, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, the Intel uh, graphics, all that good stuff. But anyways, we're going to get to the first boot of this guy so I can show you how setup is um, is done on the uh, MacBook Air. And also, I have my information backed up via Time Machine backup on this Western Digital Pocket Drive. So I'm definitely going to connect that and show you how that works as well. But anyways, let's get to the show. I'm going to come right over here and hit the power button and let's boot her. Very quick, nice sound from the speakers. And of course, little tiny Apple logo. And I'll try not to get in your guys' way. If I do, I apologize. Of course, we have the little mouse cursor right there. Use English for the main language, it says. And yes, we do. And you got, and you got, as you guys can see, the keyboard is right here backlit. As you can see, the light illuminating from the back of it, and I can turn it up as high as I want, it's at the highest point right now. I'm just going to zoom into the screen for you guys here, just so you guys can see what's all going on. It says welcome. Mac OS X includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. That's nice to know. know how to <laughs> well anyways, we're in the United States, so we're going to go next. We have a US keyboard, so we're going to click continue. And now we're going to discover our Wi-Fi network, and I'll log on to that right now. I won't bore you guys with the details, so I'll be right back. Okay, and there we go. I just typed in my password, so we're going to click Continue. And it's going to search for the Wi-Fi network and connect to it. So now it says, do you want to transfer your information? which we are going to want to do, and it says transfer from another Mac from Windows PC, which is brand new in line. You can actually transfer your files from your Windows computer, uh, from a time machine or other disk, or do not transfer right now. So we are going to hook up the Passport drive right here. Just going to plug it on in to the MacBook Air. You guys don't really need to see that. It's just hooking up a USB cable. So we're going to plug it in and let it recognize it. So we're going to go from a time machine or other disk. We're going to click next. And it says select the source, a MacBook Pro, which is exactly what I want because that was my previous computer. Make sure your disk is fully connected and turned on if your disk is on another network. So that's the one we want to use. We're going to continue. And then of course we have all of our settings right here that we can transfer. We can transfer the users, we can transfer the application settings and other files and folders from my MacBook Pro. Okay, and now that we have all the uh, info gathered up, we're just going to transfer it all over. We're going to transfer the user's application settings and all the other good stuff that I had on the MacBook Pro. Make sure that everything's a full transfer. And as you can see, it says down there looking for applications and documents to transfer. And I won't bore you guys with this either. I'll definitely come back when it's all said and done. And there we go, it just finished up. So I'm going to enter in my Apple ID and password, so I'll be back in just a second. So yeah, there's my registration information, which I'm not going to let you see, and I'll jump cut this. It's just pretty much your phone number, your name, your address, and all that good jazz. So I'll be back and click next, and it says you are now ready to connect. Continue to send registration to Apple to set up this computer. So you want to do that. It says this may take a moment. And there we go, and now it just says, uh, this, this is of course the natural scrolling uh, thing that maybe you guys have seen in a few other videos, you have to scroll up to go down, and down to go up. 
which I more than likely will be changing that because that's the way I use it on my mouse and it's all right on the iPad and the iPhone. Um, to me, it's just not optimal for a desktop computer uh, to be scrolling that way. So more than likely I will be changing that, but then you just click right here, use Mac OS X Lion. And it should bring me to the desktop and it says, uh, do you want to transfer, do, 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 do you want to make this to your time machine? Uh, I will decide later. But anyway guys, that's about it. I have my dock hidden right over here. If you guys wanted to know where it was, all my applications are in there. And it looks like they're all up to date. And we'll just try launching something, just to see how the speed works. Try launching the App Store. Very, very quick. I can see right now, it's very, very quick. Lion pops up. Let's try Chrome. This solid state drive is really incredible. Just opening this stuff, it's very, very quick. Very, very quick. First impressions are just amazed by the speed of this SSD, which is great. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick demonstration of how you set up a MacBook Air, and I know this probably turned into a little bit longer than what I would have liked. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email, and I would be happy to answer them. But anyway, guys, this has been DJ AJ 101 with a quick setup of the MacBook Air with all my stuff on a time machine backup drive. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one till then.